Hi, today is Wednesday, October 26th. It's another gloomy, stormy, cold day here, and I got a Scentsy delivery in the mail. So this is actually a party that I closed out, and I used rewards to pick up some things that I've been really, really excited about. So this box is huge. <laughs> Let me get this open and show you what I picked up. And just for reference, ugh, <laughs> this is the box. It's really, really big and quite heavy, so I am really, really excited to break into this. All right, so right off the top, I did pick up some light bulbs. I got a 15 watt orange bulb and I got two 25 watt orange bulbs and one 25 watt purple bulb. So I did want to stock up on some of these for some of my Halloween and fall warmers. I have had the worst luck with the purple bulbs in the past. So I'm hoping that this one might be a little bit better. I've had to exchange purple bulbs because the finish almost kind of melts off of them when the warmers are turned on. So it's something that you can smell. It smells really hot. And it's also something that you can see um, at the top of the bulb it almost looks like the finish is kind of bubbling off so I'm hoping that this one will be better I hope that they've tried to address the issue with the purple bulbs you'll have to let me know if you've run into that issue lately so I'm keeping my fingers crossed that this bulb will not do that and then another non-wax item right off the top I got another hand cream in cashmere and corduroy I love this hand cream. I'm not usually the biggest fan of Scentsy's hand creams because sometimes they can smell a little bit on the chemically side. This has that kind of chemical note when it first goes on, but after it dries down, this is the most pleasant scent that I've tried in a hand cream from Scentsy. I've actually gotten lots of compliments on it. It's just soft and sweet and oh my gosh, I love it. The scent notes are vanilla vanilla, Sicilian bergamot, and cashmere sandalwood. And it is a very sweet, soft, perfumey sandalwood scent. I love this, so I did want to pick up another one of these. This is part of the Harvest Collection, so it is a limited time offer, but I would love to see them bring out more items in the Cashmere and Corduroy body line next year. I think that would be awesome. All right, these next items are not for me. They are for my sister-in-law, but she wanted to try some of the wall fan diffusers. So she picked out the Star diffuser, and then for my nephew, we got him the Mickey Mouse diffuser. So I actually went over to her house a few weeks ago. Um, I exchanged some Scentsy bars for a haircut. She has a cosmetology license and I thought that was a pretty good deal, but she decided that she wanted to try some of the pods. She's actually never tried them before. I took a lot of fall Scentsy bars over for her to pick from and she asked if I could just pick some Scentsy pods to go with their wall fan diffusers. So I'll show you what we got for them. So she actually really liked maple rum cake from the Harvest Collection. So we got a pod pack in maple rum cake. I threw in a pack of Luna pods. I figured you can't go wrong with Luna, especially if you're going to use this in a bedroom or a bathroom. This is just a very nice, fresh, light, perfumey scent. She also really likes black raspberry vanilla. So I picked up one of those for her. I picked out a first day of fall. She really likes the kind of bakery spice see fall scents so figured she would like that one and to go along with that I picked out a pumpkin roll and a vanilla bean buttercream so I tried to get kind of a mix of scents that would get her through the rest of fall and then we can pick out some new uh, winter scents for her and then with the Mickey Mouse diffuser since he was actually doing a really good bundle deal and it came with the Mickey Mouse and Friends pods so I hope that they like these fragrances and I hope they like the wall fan diffusers I really like mine I just have to remember to use them so I actually did get a six pack of pods for myself uh, let's see I also picked up some Luna pods I thought this would be really nice in my air purifier in my bedroom and then I picked up a fall staple cider mill I thought that one would be really nice in my front room from the Harvest Collection, I did pick out Cozy Vanilla and Pumpkin. I really, really liked this in the wax, so I figured that would be a really nice one to have in my front room. And then also from the Harvest Collection, I picked up Wild for Fall. So this is actually a very 
kind of fresh wintry green scent. I get a lot of an evergreen note from this, but there is a really bright burst of citrus and I think a little tiny hint of floral from the sunflower. But I thought this would be a really nice transition scent from fall to winter. So toward the end of November, I thought that this would be really, really nice. So I picked up those. And then from the holiday collection, I picked up Cranberry Orange Cider and Swirling Snowflakes. And I also picked these up in the wax. But let me go ahead and smell these right now. Ooh, this is nice. So this is Cranberry Orange Cider. This is actually a bit more like juicy, fruity than I was remembering it being. So I did smell these at Scentsy Family Reunion, but like I've said before, everything is kind of a blur. I honestly thought that the cranberry orange cider would be a little bit more on like the tart cranberry side of things, like very merry cranberry. But I'm actually getting a lot of the cider note. Something about this actually kind of smells like cider mill to me. Maybe with just a little bit more fruitiness from the cranberry and orange. Let me smell these next to each other. So this is cider mill. And then this is cranberry orange cider. Hmm. Yeah, I'm getting kind of a very similar cider note. But again, the cranberry orange cider does have the addition of the orange and the cranberry that almost makes this smell kind of like a fruit salad. Interesting. So I'm excited to smell this in the wax. These pods are kind of leaking some little particles out. So I hope that works itself out. All these little particles or shavings just fell out all over the table. So that's interesting. That's never happened to me before. And then swirling snowflakes. I'm really, really excited to smell this one. Ooh, ooh, I really like this. So people have been comparing this to Olaf Warm Hugs or NHL Fresh Ice. And I definitely agree. There is a frosty coolness to this. A really nice kind of sweet mintiness. Ooh, I really, really like this one. I'm excited to have that one in the wax. And then I did pick up a three pack of fragrance flowers. So from the regular catalog, I picked up cashmere and corduroy. I thought this one would be really, really nice in our bathroom this winter. So I'm really excited for that. From the Harvest Collection, I picked up Wild for Fall. This is another one I thought would be really, really nice in a bathroom as we head into the winter. And then from the Holiday Collection, I picked up Swirling Snowflakes, and I think this will be really, really nice and fresh. Another really, really great one for a bathroom. So I'm really excited for those fragrance flowers. All right, this box is stuffed full of wax, so let me get these out. And hiding down in that box was a travel twist in Swirling Snowflakes. So I thought this would be really, really nice to put in my car this winter. This is just such a fresh, clean, sweet, minty scent. Ooh, I think I'm really, really going to like this. So this does have a little piece of felt that you can tell is kind of soaked in the fragrance oils. I might have to pick up a few more of these. I think this is going to be really, really nice. I'm quite excited for that. All right, I did pick up two bars of cider mill for whatever reason. I've just been really craving this scent this fall. This is just a really nice kind of lightly spiced sweet apple cider scent with just a little smoothness from the pumpkin. It's really, really nice. I haven't liked this one as much in the past, but it has really grown on me. And like I said, I've just been kind of craving it. So I did want to pick up two of those. And then from the regular catalog, I did pick up a bar of cashmere and corduroy. This is one that I love in my bedroom. It's just sweet and sultry and cozy and fuzzy. And I really, really like this one for the fall and winter. And then another kind of bedroom scent, I picked up a bar of frosted vanilla. I've actually had a scent circle of this hanging in my car for the past several weeks, and I've been really, really impressed with it. 
So I got another bar of this to warm in my bedroom this fall and winter. And I've actually been kind of having a hard time lately deciding what I want to warm in my bedroom. So I decided to pick up an old staple Luna. I haven't had a bar of this in quite some time and figured this is just a really nice kind of light, sweet, perfumey scent. I think there's jasmine in here and I really, really love jasmine based florals. So I figured just kind of a good go-to bedroom scent, Luna. And then I also picked up a bar of the scent of the month, warm pumpkin drizzle. So all of the bars from my scent of the month kit went to my customers but I did want to give this one a try because people have been raving about this one and I wanted to give it a good shot. <laughs> so um, people have actually been picking up a lot of the pineapple that's in the top notes of this bar. And that was really intriguing to me. And smelling it broken open, I actually can pick up that really kind of tart pineapple, which is a really interesting twist to a pumpkin bakery scent. So I wanted to give this a try. I don't know if this is one that will be going in my club, but I did want to give it a fair shot. And then I picked up a six pack of licensed bars. So I did pick up two of the NHL Fresh Ice. I really like this scent. This is a very fresh, invigorating, sweet kind of vanilla minty scent. It smells a lot like Olaf Warm Hugs. This is just a tiny, tiny bit, maybe more herbal or a tiny bit more masculine than Olaf, but this is not a cologne scent by any means. This is just very fresh. Like I said, very invigorating. This is kind of sinus clearing mint. Really, really nice. I like that one. So I decided to get two of those. And then I did get two each of the new rugby scents, the Wallabies and the All Blacks. So I have never smelled these before. I'm excited to give them a try. That's really cute. The wax is kind of a golden yellow. Ooh, this is nice. So this actually is kind of a sophisticated, smooth amber type scent to me. I'm not sure of the scent notes off the top of my head, but this does kind of have like an amber sandalwood vibe to me. This does kind of come across as like an aftershave type scent or a men's cologne type scent, but this is actually kind of nice. This is fresh smelling, but sophisticated. I think if you like kind of masculine cologne scents, you should definitely give this one a try. All right, and then let's give the All Blacks scent a try. This is a really cool black wax. That's not something that we see every day from Scentsy, so I thought that in and of itself was really neat. Hmm, okay. This is kind of weird on the top. Ooh. This has a very herbal note on the top to me that I do not like. <laughs> and then on the bottom, this has the same kind of like fresh tanginess that Roll of the Dice had, the Oogie Boogie scent that people did not like. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, this actually reminds me a lot of the Oogie Boogie scent. This is definitely a kind of masculine cologne scent. And again, I don't know the notes offhand, but this does have the kind of same, almost like fruity, zingy, tangy top note that smelled kind of sour in Roll of the Dice. That's kind of what this scent has. So not my favorite. I, I don't know about this one, <laughs> but I guess we can give it a try. I'll probably try warming it in our family room or maybe in a bathroom, but this one is not my favorite. I definitely prefer the Wallabies scent to the All Blacks. And then I did pick up two of the Holiday Bar Trios. So let's go ahead and smell Cranberry Orange Cider in the wax. <sighs> yeah, this smells a lot like Cider Mill to me. Yep, it smells like the same base as Cider Mill with an added kind of tanginess from the orange and tartness from the cranberry. 
I was honestly hoping that this would be a little bit more like maybe cranberry garland with an added orange note, but this is just kind of straight fruity. It doesn't have a ton of spice to my nose, just a very light spice, very similar to cider mill. But yeah, I think this one will be nice as we head into November. I was hoping that this might be one of the like club contender scents for me. I don't think I'll put it in my club. I actually think I prefer Cider Mill to this one, but this is nice and I am excited to give it a try. And then here is Swirling Snowflakes. I hope I love it in the wax just as much as in the other products. Oh yeah, this is nice. Now in the wax, there is something a little bit more floral coming out to me. It almost smells a little powdery, a little floral, and I was not getting that in the travel twist or the pods. Hmm, this is interesting. I don't know if I love it as much in the wax on cold as I did in those other products. <sighs> Something about that kind of soft, musky, powdery floral note almost smells like something that you might smell in a hotel lobby. I don't know what it is, but this smells like kind of a, a fancy hotel type scent to me. So it's not a bad scent. It's just translating a little bit differently to me in the wax. But yeah, something about this reminds me of something that you might smell in a hotel. So I am excited to try this. I think this one will be nice in a bedroom or a bathroom in the winter. So I'm excited to have two of those. All right, and then last in that holiday trio is Maple Vanilla Glaze. I am not usually a fan of maple scents, so that's why I didn't pick this up in the other products. But yeah, I'm getting a lot of maple. This is kind of a sticky, sweet maple right off the top. Let me see if I can pop this out. It almost smelled a little bit stale to me. Like maple syrup that had been sitting out and had kind of dried up. <laughs> On the bottom, it's a little bit more bakery. So there is something kind of buttery about this. Buttery, maple-y, not my favorite. But, um, I'll have to see if maybe my sister-in-law would like this one because she did like the uh, maple rum cake from the Harvest Collection. So I'll see if she might want this bar. Um, my parents don't really love bakery scents. My husband doesn't love bakery scents. So I'll have to figure out something to do with this bar. And then before we get to the warmers that I picked up, I did pick up three of the holiday bricks. I didn't get the whole consultant bundle because I didn't really want a brick of icicles and evergreen. I really like that scent, but I have a lot of bars left over from last year, so I just didn't need a brick. And then the caramel chestnut, again, I'm not a huge fan of the bakery or kind of sweet, caramely, mapley scents. So I figured I would just throw a bar of that in my next Scentsy Club shipment so that I could still smell it and try it. But I did want to get a big brick of maraschino sugar cookie. So this was an exclusive bar in the Whiff Box last December and I actually really liked it, which is kind of interesting because this actually does have a quite prominent sugar cookie note and I don't usually love bakery scents but there's something about the combination with a really rich sweet saturated syrupy cherry that I like so I'm actually warming um, part of my bar up in my office right now. I just been hearing everyone talk about maraschino sugar cookie and I couldn't wait to get my brick. So I've been enjoying that in my office and it's just really nice. Now this is a scent that I like more the first few hours as it's warming because that's when you get a lot of that kind of sweet tart cherry note. As that dies off, you're just kind of left with the sugar cookie note. And again, not a huge fan of the bakery scents. So I really like it when you can smell a lot of that cherry. Um, I was hoping that this might be a replacement for cherry almond pie. That's another cherry scent that I really love that's in my club. That one does have an almond extract note. I feel like I can still pick up a tiny, tiny little hint 
of almond extract in this one, but definitely not as much as is in um, cherry almond pie. Uh, and I don't get a lot of like a bakery or crust note from cherry almond pie. So I think I still prefer that one a little bit to maraschino sugar cookie, but I am glad to have a big brick of that. And then the other two that I picked up are Frosted Petals and Winter's Eve. So let's go ahead and give this one a sniff. This is also something that we got to smell while we were at Scentsy Family Reunion, but I'm very excited to revisit this. Ooh, this is nice. This is very soft. It is a very soft, sweet, almost like tart floral. There is something a little bit musky, but it's not too powdery to my nose. And I was a little worried that this one might come off as kind of like a white floral kind of powdery heady scent. But it's actually not, not too bad. This is really pretty. I think this one will be really nice in a bedroom or a bathroom. It's not offensive to me at all. It's just kind of light and sweet and soft. So this also doesn't really scream winter to me. I think you could probably warm this any time of the year, but I think something about the softness of this makes it maybe a little bit more appropriate for the winter, for a winter floral. So yeah, I think I'm going to like this. Um, like I said, I was looking for scents to warm in my bedroom in the fall and winter, and I think I'll really like this one. I... I'm hoping that it doesn't turn more powdery when it's in the warmer. I feel like it might do that. But right now on cold, I actually really like this one. So good. That is Frosted Petals. And then the last brick I picked up is Winter's Eve. And this one has been getting kind of mixed reviews. So I'm excited to smell this one again. Ooh, yeah, this one definitely is leaning very masculine to me. I've heard people compare this one to Blue Sage and Tonka. And this one might have a tiny bit of that same kind of earthy note, but there's something in Blue Sage and Tonka that I am really not a fan of. To me, it almost smells like burning rubber. So I don't get that note from this, which is a good thing. This is fresh. There's kind of a minty quality that almost reminds me a little bit of the fresh ice scent. This to me smells like a more cologne version of fresh ice. Yeah, it's almost like you mixed fresh ice with a cologne scent like business casual. So I like it. I don't love it. I'm not usually a huge fan of the really masculine scents, but I think that this one will be nice, um, maybe in a bedroom or an office or a bathroom. On the top, just smelling it, I get a tiny little hint of like an evergreen scent. And I'm hoping more of that comes out when it's warming, because I think if I got more evergreen than cologne, I would like this a lot more. And this one actually might be nice mixed with an evergreen scent. Um, even something like the scent of the month for November, I think would actually be a really nice combination if you're wanting to kind of tone down the really masculine quality of this and bring out some of the fresh evergreen notes. So I might try that because this does smell a little bit kind of soapy, a little bit masculine. Um, but I think if I could bring out more of the evergreen, I would like this a lot more. So I think I'll probably try that with that brick. All right. And then the last few things that I picked up are warmers. Now I did not need any more warmers, but seeing people present these in their YouTube videos and I'm looking at you, Elizabeth Quinn, it just made me really, really want these warmers. So I did have to pick up the warmer of the month for October. This is the Tiger's Eye Pumpkin. And I just could not get over how beautiful this warmer looked set up in people's homes. So I had to get my hands on it. So right off the top, here is 
the dish and the lid and it's kind of stuck in this styrofoam. So I just loved the color scheme of this warmer. I thought it was really, really pretty. So it has this beautiful kind of amber orange dish. And then I really, really liked the lid that it's black. It comes off looking just a little bit on like the oil rubbed bronze side of things, but I really liked this and I liked that this would match my Enchanted Pumpkin Warmer. So love that. All right. Oh, it is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is beautiful. So it's definitely not translating on the video right now. I'm getting the light from the ring light shining through and it is so, so pretty. So I will definitely light this up so that we can see what it looks like lit up. But oh, this is so so beautiful so you can kind of see that tiger's eye pattern there I just love the color scheme I thought this looked very modern and I thought this would be really pretty with some of my like Thanksgiving decor and I think this one is actually a really pretty warmer for Halloween too so um, the light bulb will go in there and then the dish sits just right on top and then the lid will go on like that I love that. I love that. So let me get the bulb out. I think it was just tucked down in here. And this is a 25 watt warmer. So I think it should be a great performer. So I'll go ahead and get this set up and we'll take a look at this at the end of the video. And my friend Carrie also recommended trying an orange bulb with the warmer. So that's why I wanted to pick up a couple extra orange 25 watt bulbs. So we'll try this with the clear bulb and then also with the colored bulb. All right. And then from the holiday collection, I did pick up a mini warmer. This is the Catching Snowflakes warmer. And something that I really liked about this one is I thought it would definitely be pretty at Christmas but it's also one that would be pretty left out all winter so I thought I could get a lot of mileage out of this one and I thought it would look really pretty set up in my kitchen so I'm really excited to see this one all right this is so pretty here it is I love it Oh, I think that is gorgeous. So I've actually never had a warmer like this from Scentsy where the um, dish is glass, but then the exterior portion is metal. So I really like that. And then this also kind of has a frosted interior and I think it's plastic. It would go on a ceramic base, um, if you're wondering about that. So I'll also get this set up. This is one that I think would be really pretty with just the clear bulb, but also with a blue bulb or a red bulb for Christmas. I think that would be really, really pretty. So I'm excited to see how that one looks. All right, last but not least, I was not going to pick up this warmer until I saw several people share it and it just looked so beautiful in person. So I decided to use some of my rewards to pick it up. This is the festive fur and I thought this would go really well with some of the other tree warmers that I've picked up from the past two years. So this will kind of complete my little um, Christmas tree collection. I think they'll look really, really pretty together and I am very excited to see this one in person. So it is packaged in styrofoam. Okay, so here is the top part that's kind of stuck down in the styrofoam. So I pulled that out and the dish is actually sitting right down in there. So I'm going to try to remember how this was packaged so that I can box it back up. But this is just a clear glass dish. The bulb was sitting right down in the lid there. All right, so here is the topper. Oh, that is so pretty. Oh, I cannot wait to see this one set up. And then the base is just sitting right down in the box. All right, I liked that this one was a 25 watt warmer. Here's the base. I loved the pattern on this. I really like that it kind of goes from that whitewashed to a little bit more of the gold showing back to the whitewashed. I really love the kind of geometric Nordic almost design there. And then the bulb is just sitting right down in there. So the dish will go right here. And then the crown on top. Oh, wow. This is really pretty. It's really tall. 
but I really, really love the pattern. I love the star cut out at the top. I just think this will look so pretty with my other tree warmers. So I am really happy with this. The gold is a really, really pretty shade of gold. Oh, this is beautiful. And I think that this one will look really, really pretty set up too. This almost makes me want to just go ahead and set up for Christmas, <laughs> but we have to celebrate Halloween first. So, but that is just so, so pretty. All right, so if you were curious, these are my other Christmas tree warmers. So this one is from last year, and then this one is from two years ago. And I just think they look really, really pretty all next to each other. So I think I will definitely display them all together. I love that they all kind of have that gold running throughout. This one is definitely more whitewashed, but I just think that they look really, really pretty together. Here is the festive fur lit up. Oh, that is really, really pretty. That casts just the most beautiful pattern. Oh, I love it. Let me try to turn off the lights in here so we can look at it in the dark. So it does glow quite a bit. But that is stunning. Oh, I love it. Here it is with a red bulb. Oh, wow, that's really pretty. That gives off a lot of red glow. But I think that would be pretty at Christmas. And here it is with a green bulb. Ooh, so that's really pretty too. So another very festive color for Christmas. I don't have a blue bulb, but I think if you do like a blue and gold color scheme or blue and white, this would be really pretty. Oh, I love it. And here's the tiger's eye pumpkin unlit, but I just wanted to show you how pretty it is with that light coming through. So let's go ahead and turn this one on. Ooh, that is really, really pretty. So you definitely can see the bulb. And it is quite bright, but oh, it just casts the most beautiful pattern and colors around it. Oh, that is really pretty. Let me turn off the warmer behind it. So here it is in all its glory. Really, really pretty. Let's go ahead and try it with the orange bulb. Oh, that is really pretty. So that definitely is a softer, kind of more amber glow. You definitely can still see the filament. It's just not quite as blinding, but still really, really pretty. And it still casts that really pretty shadow. So, oh, I love that one. All right, and then here is Catching Snowflakes. Oh, that is really, really pretty. And I really like that it has the frosted interior so that the bulb is not blinding, but this gives off a really nice glow. So you still get the light from it without being blinded. Now you can see the bulb looking down into the dish, but oh, that is really, really pretty. I love that one. All right, I don't have a blue bulb, which I think would be really, really pretty in this warmer, but I did want to show you what it looks like with a red bulb. So that is really pretty. I think that makes it a little bit more kind of Christmas, holiday, festive. And if you had a blue bulb, I think that would be so pretty for the winter. But honestly, I think I like it with the white bulb, but this is definitely one that you can kind of play around with. And I think it's just gorgeous. So that is everything for today. You will have to let me know what you've picked up from the holiday collection and what you think of the holiday bricks and holiday wax. I would love to know. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.